Hi, let's rig this thing here with Rigify. This model was shared with me by Skjold Brother on our Discord. Um, by the way, we have Discord, come and join us. And so he was asking, when I rig this with Rigify, why are all of the controls not really aligned with the actual legs of my character? And that is exactly what I'm going to cover in this video, along with some other Rigify tips that I think you'll find useful. And here's a little backstory about the model that he shared. Okay, so you can start from a basic human and delete all of the unnecessary parts. But one of my goals on this channel is to really help people understand how Rigify actually works. And so let's start from a single bone, go to edit mode, select this bone and delete it. Then go to the armature tab, Rigify, samples. So we have to be in edit mode find the samples, and in this search field here, type leg, select limbs leg, and add a sample. So Rigify gives us these samples, and actually the human metric that I just showed briefly is also constructed from these samples. And if you really want to understand how this works, please watch my series on Rigify from the start. And in the first um, eight or so videos, uh, I explain this stuff in much more detail. But here we have the leg, and this is the left leg, so we want to align it with this left leg that we have. Okay, normally you would start aligning these bones in edit mode, but if you try to rotate this whole thing in edit mode, you'll see that things get a little bit funky. The roll of this bone kind of changes, so I'm going to undo here, and then go to pose mode. So this is a little trick for you. Sometimes it is easier to move bones in pose mode because in pose mode they behave more like real objects. So here I'm going to look from the top view, um, enable X-ray and rotate this bone 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees actually. And then from the front view, I'm going to rotate it like this and scale it up and then, and then rotate this bone down so that it is aligned with the lower leg and I'll keep tweaking it like this by um, rotating and scaling and moving these bones. Okay now the alignment is starting to look good however if I go to edit mode you'll see that the bone will go back to its original position so what we can do is go to pose mode and press ctrl a and choose apply pose as rest pose okay and now if I go to edit mode this bone will be at the exact position where I placed it in pose mode. So we have to be careful with applying the pose, but for this workflow inside the metric, it is totally okay to do this. And now in edit mode, I'm going to do the fine alignment of the bones. Just something like this. And this bone I'm going to place at the heel and it's looking good. So now I can select all of these bones, right click and symmetrize. Okay, now I want to rig this uh, front leg, so I guess I'll add another leg sample. And if you pay attention to the name that was given to these uh, new sample bones, you'll see that they have the 001 suffix. So let's rename them manually. Instead of um, .l, I'm just going to give them a .f suffix for front, because this is my front leg, right? Okay, so I'll just rename all of these bones with .f instead of .l. I'm pressing F2 to rename a bone. Okay, and now if I select this bone and look uh, through the side view, it will be easy to align it in edit mode. So I'll just align it in edit mode in this case. Just grab bones, move and scale them. Okay, now what do we do about this last leg? I cannot symmetrize these bones because the symmetrize function only symmetrizes left and right and not front and back. So there are two ways to approach this. One is I'm going to select the front leg and Shift D, duplicate it, then switch 
the pivot point to 3D cursor, then press Ctrl M and hold the middle mouse button and drag towards the back view. And that will give me a mirrored copy of this um, front leg. Okay, and this looks good, but if you enable axis on the viewport display, you'll see that for most bones, the Z is pointing down, but for these bones that we just mirrored, it is pointing up. And this can create some problems for us. So I can shift select this bone, for example, press shift N and choose active bone. Okay. And that will recalculate these uh, normals for the new bones to be consistent with the other ones. But there is another way I'm going to undo here. So I have this uh, copied bone. Instead of uh, mirroring it, I'm going to go to pose mode and from top view, again, pivot point to 3D cursor, and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And then again, press Ctrl A and apply pose as rest pose. And now in edit mode, we have this um, back leg as well, and the axes are looking okay. Actually, now the X is inverted, uh, which I'm not sure if it, it's going to create a problem, but again, we can do the same. Uh, select all of these bones, shift select this one, and then shift N active bone. Okay, now let's look from the top view and make some final adjustments to these bones. And now I can try to generate this rig. Okay, and you'll see that my uh, generate rig button is grayed out. And I wasn't planning to do this, but this is such a common and annoying error that I guess it's nice that it happened. So I made a whole separate video about this, but sometimes when you use Blender's undo while editing an armature, some properties and constraints and so on may disappear from the bone. So all of our rig types were removed. This can be fixed easily, but it is annoying. So I'm going to go to bone tab and select the first bone of one of the legs. And here on the rig type, I'm going to search for leg and give it limbs leg. And I'm going to do the same for the other legs. Okay, now if I go back to the armature tab, the generate rig button will be active and I can press it. And now we come to the actual problem, to the actual question that the scheduled brother asked. And that is, if I zoom in to this leg, for example, the uh, leg control is kind of aligned with the actual leg. But on this leg, it is not. And in, on this leg as well, it is not. You'll see that uh, all of these leg controls are kind of pointing in the same direction, which is forward. So by default, Rigify just assumes that you are going to want your um, character and so your legs to be facing forward. But sometimes that is not the case. So we can go back to a meta rig. Let's name it. Okay, go back to the meta rig. I'm going to press slash to isolate it. And so go back to pose mode and go back to the bone tab and back to the rigify type that we just set manually a second ago. And here, there is this rotation axis setting and it is set to automatic. And in this automatic mode, Blender tries to align all of these legs with the front view. So instead, we have to choose X manual. Um, and there is also the Z manual option. Sometimes that will be the one that you want to use. And the easiest way to check is to switch to the rotation gizmo bounding box center and transform to local and then select the lower leg and try to rotate it and you see that it rotates on the x-axis the red axis okay here as well x-axis 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 so we have to set the rotation axis for all of these legs to x manual okay that's it then I'll go back and go out of local mode, um, go back to the armature tab and regenerate. Okay, now if we enable X-ray, you'll see that the leg controls are now aligned with the direction that we want them to be aligned. 
okay, here and here and here. Um, however, the position doesn't seem right. So this has to do with the widgets that um, Rigify generates. And so the easiest way to fix this is to go to the meta rig, go to advanced options and enable the override widget meshes setting and regenerate. And you'll see that all of your controls are now flush, um, aligned with the direction and position of your leg meshes. So now let's try to parent with automatic weights. So select the mesh and then shift select the rig control P with automatic weights. And now if I move this control, it moves the leg. So everything looks good. Um, we can move the whole thing, but one little piece that is missing is um, that we don't have a body control. Of course, we don't have a body, but we may want to raise all of these legs or push them down all at the same time. So let's go to object mode, select the meta rig, and I'm going to isolate it again with slash, go to edit mode and press shift A to add a new bone. I'll select this bone, go to the bone tab, switch to pose mode. I'm switching to pose mode because uh, only in pose mode do I see this rigify type field. So now I'm going to make it a super basic super copy. And now in the options, uh, you can kind of leave it like this or you could disable the form because this um, bone is not supposed to deform anything. It's just uh, meant as a control. So disable the form and you can change the widget type, but a circle will do here. So I'm going to go back to edit mode and move it up at this position. I can scale it down a little bit maybe and then select all of the leg bones and then shift select this new bone and press control P and choose keep offset. Okay, and this will ensure that all of these leg bones are controlled by this new bone. And also I can select this new bone and give it a proper name, always a good idea. So uh, let's call it um, body. <laughs> and then regenerate our rig. So I have to go out of local mode in earlier versions of Blender, you couldn't regenerate the rig if it was hidden, but uh, now you can. So here's the generated rig. And so if I go to pose mode, this circle here is my new body control. It is a little bit small and, and a little bit too far down, I guess. So let's go back to the meta rig, edit mode, move this bone up and scale it some more and move it up. The circle control will be aligned with the uh, head of the bone. Okay, I'll regenerate. Disable X-ray. Hide my meta rig. And now if I go to pose mode, you'll see this um, body control that we have now. And here I see another problem. Again, this is not something that I was planning, but uh, let's see how we can solve this. So I stopped the recording to figure it out and this was kind of my fault. So let's unhide the meta rig and select it and go into local mode. Now at some point of this process, the axis of this back leg became inconsistent. You'll see that the X points in this direction here and in the other direction on the next bone. So what we need to do is select all of these bones and then shift select the thigh bone, press shift N and choose active bone. And now all of the X axis will be pointing in the same direction. And now I can regenerate and now the problem will be gone. So this is also something that I did a separate video about. Um, yeah, so this is Rigify. Um, it gives you a lot of options and a lot of freedom to tweak things. But sometimes, especially when you try to push the customization really far, uh, you may get some of these problems and to solve them you kind of have to understand the technicalities of uh, the armature object a little bit better or at least you have to have a workflow for fixing these common issues and i hope i was able to convey some of these workflows in this um, video i hope it was useful and interesting subscribe to see more press the like button all that good stuff thank you and talk to you in another video